With President Trump and several conservative groups now banned on social media sites, the question of free speech is on a lot of minds. What do these moves mean when it comes to First Amendment rights? KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen takes a closer look. Following last Wednesday's deadly siege on Capitol Hill, in which a mob was incited by President Trump, Twitter ended a 12-year run by cutting the president off from his nearly 89 million followers. Facebook and Instagram suspended his accounts at least until Inauguration Day. Sheryl Sandberg is the social media giant's chief operating officer. You know, most of the rules that govern the internet were written 25 years ago. And we've been very public in not just saying we'll participate in legislation, but we're calling for regulation. We do think the internet needs new regulation. Sandberg says groups like QAnon, Proud Boys, and Stop the Steal had already been banned for trying to organize violent protests. Loyola Law Professor Justin Levitt specializes in constitutional law. He once served at the U.S. Department of Justice. This is something of a debate about free speech versus free enterprise, but the speech that we get from the big social media companies is privately facilitated. It's a company deciding what it wants you to do. Early this morning, the app Parler, which has allowed conspiracy theories to go unchecked, went offline after Amazon said it would no longer host the site on its computing services. Apple and Google removed Parler from its app stores this weekend. Professor Levitt says social media platforms have conduct rules that users must agree to when they sign on. That doesn't mean their constitutional rights are being violated. The First Amendment stops, for example, the government from banning your speech, from fining you because of speech, from putting you in jail because of speech. It doesn't force a private company to carry your speech. The American Civil Liberties Union says it understands the desire to permanently suspend Trump for undermining the election and in a statement that says in part, President Trump can turn to his press team or Fox News to communicate with the public. But others like many black, brown and LGBTQ activists who have been censored by social media companies will not have that luxury. For its part, Parler's CEO and founder says the app will shut down for a week as the company rebuilds from scratch. In the meantime, Parler is suing Amazon, accusing it of breaking antitrust laws. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.